Okay, so in this video, we have our, our pencil sketch of our basic um, designer pattern that we're gonna do, and I'm gonna go through with the fine tip Sharpie, and I'm gonna put in what I know I want to keep. Then I'm gonna erase out my pencil, and then I can start thinking about, so here's my, my completed one. I can start thinking about which lines I want thick, the details I want to start adding in, um, what sections I might want to color in, things like that to give my design more interest and more pop. But for now, I'm going to come through and I'm, I'm just, I'm going to outline these petals. When you're, when you're drawing in your patterns and outlining them, um, turn your paper as you go. And it's, get really used to turning your paper. Uh, I find a lot of times I have a hard time getting students to turn their paper, but it, it, you're, you're going to have a better result if you turn your paper rather than trying to turn your hand. So when we're inking at this point, then this is where you can make some, some corrections. Like if you see, if I've, as I'm coming around this flower, if I've got one petal that's like, oh, that, that's a little bit off in the sketch from the pencil, um, I can make the correction with the ink. And just make them a little bit more accurate. Okay, so that's all of them. Now, um, this circle, I know I want to keep this circle. My pen is not. Um... Okay, my pen is drying out already. I'm going to have to grab a different pen. Give me a second. Lots of pens. Okay, this one's better, I think. So I'm going to come around this circle. And again, turn your paper. And you want your lines to be like continuous and smooth. You don't want them to be choppy and like have little tails and things on them, okay? <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to do these petals here. So that is my petal shape and I'm going to come all the way around and again. I want my lines to be nice and smooth and connect. You don't want gaps. You don't want your line to go past this circle. That's those are the kind of things that'll start making it look messy or not not clean. You want um, your, as this petal comes in, for the other petal to come off kind of even in, at the same place as the last, as the one next to it. So use your, your existing petals when you do the next petal as a guide. So, so here, I'm not sure what, if I want to keep this line or I don't. I'm not quite sure yet. So I'm not going to ink it quite yet. I'm gonna go ahead and come out and finish my pattern. So from here, I'm gonna do these, these petals. And they're coming out of the tip here of the previous petal. I'm not having luck with my Sharpies here. Again, it's that kind of shiny paint. It's not wanting to. <laughs> These are kind of old Sharpies. And 
And again, if I have some where the pencil's slightly off, I can make that correction now. And again, I want them to join up at the same spot. I want them to meet perfectly at the tip of this previous petal. And I want them to meet right in the middle at this top point, right where the two colors change. The more you use your grid and your previous petals of the sketch, the cleaner your pattern will be. And the more balanced um, and even and equal it will be. Be careful going back over lines because, um, you know, like I got it off a little bit there. That's going to create some, some messiness for you as well. <clears throat> um, okay, so I know I want this circle. I don't want it to go through the petal. So I'm just in between each petal. We're going to keep that circle. So I'm going to trace that with my Sharpie between each petal one one um circle down from where the tips touch okay all the way around and of course you guys can create your own patterns this is just an example, you can use mine, you can use some of mine, you can use all of mine, you can use none of mine, you can do all your own thing, um, it, you know, whatever you wanna do. And then um, we come on to our next pattern. And this one I'm bringing down um, to where that circle was, right? And then it's touching the petal. And then it's coming down to where that circle is. And it doesn't really matter where you choose to stop yours as long as it's the same in every single section, right? So the tip of the petal, and then down to that circle tip of the petal and that's how it is in every section okay tip of the petal down to the circle tip of the petal and so forth There we go. So, uh, so from here, I do think I want to keep the circle all the way around the tips of the petals we just created. So I'm going to go ahead, spinning my paper and start putting that in. And when you lift your pen, Whenever you start again, you want to kind of start back on it and create a smooth transition so you don't have a choppy, uh, kind of choppy transition where you can't tell where you lifted your pin and started your pin again. That's the goal. You don't want to be able to tell. Okay, and then
and we'll do that large petal. And I made a little correction from my pencil. So again, if you see that your pencil's off a little bit, you can make that correction with your pen as you're coming through and inking this in. highly recommend when if you're doing your own patterns which is you know half the fun is coming up with your own patterns so I encourage you to do that then do some research look at a bunch of mandalas see what you like when you see one you like what is it about it that you like which pattern do you like and then copy that pattern into your incorporate it into yours okay so now i'm going to do these scallops and my scallops are pretty uneven so i'm going to try and make some corrections as i go Yellow is giving me fits. I hope I don't have continuous Sharpie problems with my, with all of you guys. And again, I'd like my, when I get to the ends, I'd like them to, to meet at the transition lines, you know? We're getting there, we're getting there. That one's way off. Try not to do that. All right, so um, I will want to keep this circle. section by section. Until I have it all the way in. Now, the outside circle 
So on this one, I drew the circle around it and I kept it. On this one, I don't know, I may or may not, I haven't quite decided yet. So for now, I'm going to, um, I could start erasing these, but I do wanna think about some of my patterns before I completely erase them. For example, on this one here, I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep one of these circles and I do think that I want to do a pattern like this in here. Which means I want that circle. So before I erase, I should come around and add this circle in. And I think from there, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good to go. And I can just erase out um, some of these lines, but you do wanna be careful because when you start erasing, it's gonna erase your paint. So you kinda just wanna get in and like erase it don't spend a ton of time. You sit quick and go. Uh oh. To clean that up, I think it smeared some of my sharpie line, which you definitely want to make sure your sharpie's dry. Clearly, in the yellow, it is not. And once you've erased all of the pencil, then you will be done. Okay, I mostly have this erased. Some of these lighter colors didn't erase very well. And um, what I plan to do is as I keep putting in my pattern, I can try to mask those or clean them up a little bit. Like I could probably get this out a little bit more. But I also don't want to get um, my color to um, to erase out. You can see right here it's starting to erase out. So you got to be careful. Um, you should definitely be putting in your lines as light as you can. I wanted you guys to be able to see the lines on the on the camera. So therefore, they are a little darker than I would have normally put in. So keep that in mind when you're doing yours. Draw nice and light. So from here, I would start working on all the details of my pattern. And I tend to sort of like to do a wedge um, and figure out my pattern and then, um, you know, go from there. It kind of erased out through here a little bit. Oh, that's messing that up. <clears throat> 